good morning everyone a long long time no speak um cyclone here from psyche prods facebook instagram and a uh, youtube where you guys are watching this from um do me a favor like follow share all that fun stuff and subscribe to youtube page please um it's really simple and it costs you zero dollars you can't go wrong anyways what am i doing now i am wrapping up not one, but two fishing DIY projects that go hand in hand. Now, normally when I do go out, um, I am a lure guy, either a hard lure or a plastic lure. But every once in a while, you need to go live bait. Um, and if I do go live bait, it would probably be either live shrimp that I bought from a bait store um, live shiners, maybe, um, live sand fleas, I have the sand flea rake in the truck, but, on the off chance I want something else, I've decided to make not only a ghost shrimp pump, but a sifter as well, so I just finished both of them, gonna wrap them up, how I put them together, um, and... Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So, this is the ghost shrimp pump. And the items you will need are a 2-inch PVC pipe. I cut mine to 44 inches long. That's this red baby right here. Um, you will need a 2-inch cap, which is this a one inch or you could do smaller if you want to downsize everything but this is a one inch PVC pipe I cut down to 44 inches as well and a one inch T you will also need a two inch test plug. You will need 5 16 inch bolts as well as the wing nuts for them. You will need, well not necessarily need, but what is advisable, okay, is a 2 inch stainless steel wash, flat washer. And that's actually what I did. Um, now, I can't really take this apart to show you everything so also you will need by the way before I forget a one inch PVC cap as well now once you cut down your PVC pipes to whatever size you want like I said I cut mine to 44 inches um, you have to dr uh, drill in the holes in the caps now this one is a little bit bigger than one inch, so this way the one inch PVC pipe fits right through there. Um, now, just a reminder for you guys, as you're working with PVC, and I've seen people do this all the time, they just put PVC cement on. That's wrong. It will not hold for as long as it should. You need to put PVC cement primer on first, then put the PVC pipe cement on, hold it together for about 30 seconds for really, basically a lifelong seal. That's the way it should be done, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have problems sooner than later. Um, you screw in the one inch PVC pipe to the one inch cap as well as the two inch test plug now I can kind of show it to you as I'm trying to not let this fall over you know what let me just do it this way right here and you know what let me pull the bolt out
and you can see what I did here was sorry for a little you know fumbling but is what it is this is the washer now you need something a little bit smaller than two inches which is another reason why you should use the washer and not the top of the test plug that is because it has to fit inside now the test plug would only cap it and wouldn't be able to go in through the tube now you could shave it but the test plug is made out of plastic and plastic in salt water in the sand not really beneficial for long-term success hence the stainless steel two-inch washer um, you can see some other guys uh, DIYs of how to actually put everything together it's really 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 quite simple but one thing I did differently than most people is this little hole right here drilled in a 5 16 hole used a 5 16 inch 2 inch long 18 thread count bolt And now, as I pump, it's a stopper. And that, my friends, is something that is key. That you're going to want a stopper because you don't want to keep hitting your T to the top of the cap. It's not something you want to really do. Having a stopper is just so much easier to deal with. Now... Um, what else has to be discussed on this one? Uh, not much really. Look, putting this together is one of the easiest fishing DIY projects there is. Uh, like I said, just remember, use the PVC primer and then the cement lifetime seal really really solid well not really lifetime if a nuclear bomb goes off i don't think it would hold but that's neither here nor there the second part now once you you pump the sand out and i mean i kind of showed it just now on here let me show it standing up on the ground The bottom obviously goes into the sand and the water line and it's nice and easy to pump. Now, you want to not have it too, that's something I could do, talk about, you don't want it running too smooth. You kind of want some not friction but you, you want some tightness to it so the bolt on the end of the test plug which by the way you should change because the test plug bolts are not stainless steel and stainless steel once again in salt water and in sand and basically quite frankly anytime you always go stainless steel so you can tighten it, you can loosen it to make it go easier and let me hold on to that. So that is the Go Shrimp Pump. Like I said, once again, you can find a hundred thousand full out DIY projects, how to do them. I'm just wrapping up and showing you guys how once again, red, white, and blue colors, my colors, um, of how to put everything together. This one I'll get in a little bit more detail. Once you pump the sand out and you want to see if you have any ghost shrimp pulled up out of the sand, 
Yes, you can just lay it, you know, shoot it right back out onto the sand, but there's an easier way, and that is to use a sifter. So, this is my Ghost Shrimp Sifter DIY wrap. And this is it, really fast, before I go into detail for you guys. This is, all right... A 14 inch square. You could do them 12 inch, 13, 14, 15. You could make them as big as you want. I chose for a 14 inch square. I just thought it would be easier for myself. So, here's what you do you need a 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Look, once again, like I said, I cut them down in 14 inch pieces. Um, Obviously, whenever I deal with PVC, I, I advise all of you guys do the same thing. Take acetone. Get the ink off. You guys do the PVC projects, and you leave all those markings on. Doesn't look professional. Doesn't look nice. Really simple. Acetone. Wipe it nice and clean. Then take uh, 120 grit sandpaper. Sand the PVC down, and it looks really, really cool. Nice, white PVC, slick, and it's, it's really what you want. Um, look, you're showing other people your stuff, and it has all the markings from the PVC company. No, no, just doesn't do it. You kind of want it looking clean. Anyways, so... As my arm is starting to get tired, let me swing back around. So, underneath these pool noodles, and that's what these are right here. These are red pool noodles that I cut down. Is the 14 inch PVC that I acetoned and I also sanded down with 120 grit sandpaper. You will also need four elbows. I spray painted them blue. And uh, you will need quarter inch, 18 inch gauge steel mesh. That's what this is. That's what's going to be used as the sifter part. Okay. Other thing you will need is you could use any color pool noodle. I used red, obviously, to go with the white zip ties as well as the blue elbows. Now I can turn this this way, and you can see. First thing you want to do, well, actually, on this, you don't really even need to cement the elbows to the PVC pipe. Because once this is put together, it's not going anywhere. Okay, you can, don't get me wrong, if you want to, you can. On this project, I chose not to use PVC primer or the PVC cement. I just left it alone. Um, so you want to make a full square of your pieces with the elbows and the PVC. Then what you will do is you will take zip ties. I use black 8-inch zip ties. They're the smallest. They're the easiest to work with. And once again, they're incredibly strong as well. And you can see right in here, I zip tied 1, 2, 3 zip ties for all four sides okay the PVC pipe to the steel mesh after that you cut down your pool noodle to this whatever size your um, PVC pipe you're using is slide it over 
the PVC pipe as well as those zip ties and I used a little bit stronger of a zip tie on these once again using three zip ties actually on these I used four um, two smaller ones on the inside these are 18 inch and these right here on the ends are 24 inch white zip ties and zip tied all that onto the steel mesh as you can see then what I did because if you just put this on the ground or in the water it will float away once these pool noodles are on you need it attached to yourself so what I did was I took two 36 inch white zip ties crisscross them as you can see right here they are in fact crisscrossed then I took 50 inch white paracord and I quadruple not tied them to both of those PV of those zip ties on the corner and the end of this paracord will be tied to myself this way as you're pumping you have the attachment of the sifter and you just squeeze the sand or release the sand from the pump right here onto the sifter sand water and, and muck and anything else will go right through the mesh and the ghost shrimps shall remain pretty simple pretty long-winded on my part I'm tired um, didn't sleep that long so Cyclone Psyche Prides Facebook YouTube Instagram it is right here do me a favor guys like follow share subscribe comment be active really really simple um until next time and i am working on a project that i started actually back in may right now um i'm wrapping that one up that should be the last of my diys for a while got to finish that one up either this week or next week then finally gonna start working on my gopro hero 11 black but anyways like i said cyclone psyche prods facebook youtube instagram like follow share subscribe hope you like the ghost shrimp pump hope you liked the ghost shrimp sifter until next time cyclone saying Buh bye